Hey guys, today we're going to unbox and install this mosaic in a box for Windows 95. Let's go. The Dial Up Chronicles. All right, guys, so I got this box on eBay for $15 unopened. So this was what came out right before Netscape and the same guys that made, made um, Netscape made this mosaic in a box. And it was one of the first browsers that actually worked, you know, for the consumer. It just made sense. It had the pictures and anyway, so we're going to open it up. really wanted to show this to you guys. I thought it would be fun. All right. I am so excited. Okay. Got this little cardboard thing here. All right. Here it is. Mosaic in a box. Insert the disc in your CD-ROM drive. Oh, man. All right. Let's get this... Uh, open real quick. <laughs> oh boy. Look at all this stuff it comes with. All right. Let's check this out. Um, InterServe and CompuServe. Okay. That was something we had. We When I was a kid, we had CompuServe. Welcome. You are an internet veteran. You are new to the internet. InterServe pricing, mosaic in a box contact information, converting existing accounts to InterServe accounts, okay? Introducing the CompuServe wallet. What is it? CompuServe wallet makes shopping a snap. No more parking, waiting in lines, or running from store to store. It uses advanced encryption technology to let you use credit cards online. Ooh, how does it work? First time you use the CompuServe wallet, you record all necessary billing and shipping information. All right, so this was like one of the first ways you could use a credit card to pay for stuff online. Ooh, quick reference guide. Welcome. Mosaic in a box provides a 32-bit power of Microsoft Windows with Spry Mosaic, the world's best-selling internet browser. In addition to providing instant access to the World Wide Web, Mosaic, it's built in mosaic shortcuts menus, installing mosaic in a box, internet tips and tricks. Oh boy, CompuServe, Spry.com, Mosaic's toolbar, sending email, learning more about mosaic. Okay, cool. Incorporated license where agreement. A little setup guide for installing. Set up your COM port. Oh boy. Select an access number. Oh, this will be neat. Okay, hopefully we can make this work. Oh, registration cards be funny just to send in. Just to see what happens. Oh. Please answer the following questions. How did you learn about this product? Okay, guys, we're going to install this, and I'll get right back Guys, to got the CD in the box, and I hit Run and Setup, and we've got Mosaic in a box for Windows 95. All right. All right, guys, Mosaic in a box. Please wait while Setup checks your system configuration. Please enter, okay, just hit okay, here we go. Set up and modify, all right. It's looking pretty, huh? The CompuServe wallet, oh, they're accessing CompuServe. Decompressing, all right. Looks like we got it here. Zero objects inside. Oh, there it is. Got some stuff there.
This looks very exciting. Ooh, we get the Spry Dialer. Look at all the stuff we get. The Spry Image Book, the CompuServe Wallet, ACAD Mosaic. That's what we want the most, right? Worldwide, all right. Yes. Okay. You're almost there. Mosaic has, your, has just been installed on your computer. And next you'll make a few simple, sorry guys, I'm trying to mess with this. I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, congratulations, you're almost there. Mosaic in a box has just been installed on your computer. Next you'll make a few simple setup connections, all right? Welcome to Mosaic in a Box Wizard Setup. You'll be given a choice of instant access with InterServe's nationwide high-speed network or manual configuration. That's what we're going to do with another internet service provider. Setup will also register your software online. Okay. You must have a 96 baud rate modem or faster. I think we have that. Be sure your modem is connected to a working telephone line. All right. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't even know what to put here, y'all. Um, eek. This is it. I guess we'll hit OK. OK. Oh my goodness, register the easy way. Okay, I'm gonna put all this in and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, in some cases, your telephone system may require you to dial additional numbers or characters. Blah, 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 we're not gonna need that. Okay, we're not going to need any dial. Your your modem will now dial internet serve to get up to date pricing. Okay, whatever. Oh my good. Oh. Okay. So I guess I used the wrong port. All right, guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Initializing haze. Your modem does not respond. Please turn your modem off and then back on. I must use the wrong port. I'm going to have to check this. I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, it's dialing to see if I can get any deals. I'm dialing 1-800-331-7166. All right, guys, if anything happens, I'll let you know. All right, guys, of course, the number doesn't work anymore. Last attempt, no carrier, waiting. Gonna dial again. This will only take a moment. By answering just a few questions, we will find out if this offer is right for you. All right, guys, I think we're gonna be able to set it up manually ourselves. All right, guys, here we go. Had to bypass what it was trying to automatically do. And we're gonna put in the phone number we want. It's local to us. Hmm. I don't know any of this. Your IP address. All right, guys. Hit OK. And see if we hit dial now. Should dial. Oh. All right, guys, I'll get back to you, see what's happening. All right, hey guys, so I wanted to show you what comes with the Mosaic in a Box software. 
Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, as you saw me try earlier, everything is connected to this spry dialer here. So whenever I try to surf the internet, it forces me to dial through this interface, whatever you call it. So you guys saw me do this and and I was even able to go into options and, and set up, put in my um, Juno information because I have uh, Juno as my dial-up internet service provider. And you see here, dialer setup, I put in uh, the local phone number I would call here and my host name. Of course, I'm not really sure how to do this exactly right or if I'm even doing it correctly. So when I try to surf the web, it's going to automatically go that spry dialer. Here's the interface. Here's the, the web browser it comes with, Egghead. And again, it's going to try to dial that number, which is my local access number, but it's not going through the Juno software. So it's just nothing's happening. As you can see, something's not connecting right. So we're going to hit cancel. No dial tone, which I don't know why. So this is something kind of fun. It comes with a guide to the World Wide Web. And this is all in the software, obviously, because it came right up. So I've got the HTM here, Mosaic in a Box, World Wide Web 95. Welcome to World Wide Web 95. Congratulations on choosing Spry Mosaic, the number one commercial browser and the first browser available for Windows 95. Hmm. No matter how clever or attractive a software manual is, users seldom have time to read it. So we designed the World Wide Web 95 so that you won't just be reading about Mosaic you'll be using it at the same time. So see, I'm confused. Is this actually based on the first, uh, <clears throat> basically what's considered the first browser with the graphical user interface, which is Mosaic, which is the browser that came out right before Netscape, which was the first big one. So I can click on any of this stuff and it's gonna it's going to take me right to it. Touring with Mosaic. Experience users. You may want to take the first tour. Pre-flight flight checklist. Jump to tour two. Flying solo. All right, let's let's flying solo. Navigating with hot lists. Navigating with URLs. Opening local files using Mosaic other internet functions. Let's go there. So this is going to take me right to the to the HTML, the text it has set up for me. One of the reasons for the increasing popularity of the World Wide Web and Mosaic is that blah blah blah. All right, I think you get the point. So we have that. And then let's see, we have the Spry account. So this is like the initial setup all right and then it has this internet access phone book so like wherever i guess CompuServe was you could look up your area code for that place and it would suggest what numbers you have deerfield beach florida 4260228 Key West, Florida, and this shows you the speed. So that's interesting. Copy serve anywhere. 1 800. Huh. You should dial that number. Okay. So it's kind of like a little phone book. And then here is Copy Serve, which. Uh, I guess the user interface for CompuServe, surfing the web with CompuServe. And I can try to connect and it will try to dial and connect to the internet. Let's, let's listen in. Hello, Mosaic Internet Service. 
see it's really calling the number and trying to dial and it sounds like right it sounds like it's connected to the internet so you can see guys it's connecting to the internet it's trying to connect to the servers the old CompuServe servers, it's, I mean, it's not going to happen because they don't exist anymore. Um, or at least to my knowledge, they don't exist anymore. But it's trying. After about 30 seconds uh, past, you can see it says internet re not responding. So, so that's what we got with this program. I was really hoping to connect to Juno with my internet service provider using using dial-up with my home phone and then get on this egghead mosaic and surf the web with it but it forces me to connect through their through their connector this spry dialer thing if i could get rid of that but it's just it's all connected in this software but i thought that was neat now i was looking at the box again and again this is this registration card that you saw when I opened the box and please answer the following qu questions. So I guess you send this in to register your software to CompuServe 316. Go ahead and mail them. All right. But you see here on question four says, which product features were most important in your design decision to purchase? Select two, instant access, mosaic, so does that mean that this is the graphical interface we know or we knew of as Mosaic? Mail, reputation of Spry, compute, copy serve. So I'm really not sure. When I looked this up on the internet, Mosaic in the box, the only thing that would come up for me was like stuff on eBay selling it. Like I said, I got this for like 15 bucks on eBay sealed in the box. So it was, thought it was going to be really cool but I did want to go to this site egghead.com customized version this is on the front of the box here and I thought we'd use like what some people term the wayback machine to see what was on that so we're going to get online with you know and we're going to go to that site all right guys so we're we're just about connected here well we are connected but it still says it's dialing and about however many seconds have passed, 30 seconds. You can see right here, I've got the two little computers showing me my computer is connected to the World Wide Web, showing me my bytes. Here's my speed band, it's on, that beautiful speed band. And I am connected. Cool. So Netscape Navigator is automatically gonna pop up, which that does with this Juno software. So I am connected to the internet with my home phone using a dial-up internet service provider that I'm actually paying for, which is kind of insane, but it's all for experimentation and fun and nostalgia. So that's why I do it, because I just like to. Um, but I just wanted you to hear that I am connected on my home phone. See, here's my home phone and it says, line in use. And we'll turn on the speaker. All right, cool. So we are online using dial up in 2022. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to use Netscape and we're going to go to the oldnet.com. And this is kind of like what people call the Wayback Machine, where we can look up sites during their time. Like we could go to Netscape.com, how it looked like in whatever year we want, from 1996 to 2000, whatever. Welcome to the old internet, again. So let's see if we can look on this box, see when this product came out. And I have no idea. Um, it's 
It's not like a movie where it shows the year it came out. Akehead.com and we'll click go. The oldnet.com is contacted and it's waiting for a reply. All right, it's coming up, it looks like. All right, okay, here, something's happening. So guys, I just think this is so neat that we're kind of in a sense attempting to somewhat relive what it was like to have the internet in the mid to late 90s. And look, it's coming up. Okay, this is pretty cool. And it's like you could do this with a modern day computer, of course, with broadband internet. <clears throat> but you'd be doing it through broadband internet. And that wouldn't be correct because you didn't have broadband internet back then. Well, actually, technically you did have it, but nobody actually used it yet. But the technology was there. Um, and I would suggest looking up uh, a cool YouTube channel called The Computer Chronicles that uh, you know, goes through the years of, of new innovations in technology with computers and I'll put like a little picture up here egghead computer the technology experts welcome to our store sign up for our email bargain list hardware heaven buy of the week super notebook for only two thousand dollars and we can add on a docking station of only ninety nine ninety six twin head notebook only seventeen ninety nine ninety nine Pentium Blowout. Oh my goodness. Oh, the compacts were always the cheapest. $799.99. Computer upgrades is so cool. Camp Egghead for kids. <laughs> Click here to go to camp. We're going to come back to We're going to have to go to that. Let's see. Hardware, software. Oh, download software. That'd be cool if we could actually download software from here. Hot stuff. I publish page designer. Okay. Computer accessories. 14 inch point twenty eight monitor, only one ninety nine ninety seven. Seventeen inch. Oh, that's a big jump in price. Um. Eight dollars for the touchpad. Ooh. Weekly top hits. Look, here's our shopping cart. Wow, <laughs> we accept all these things. Amazing how you could buy stuff online even back then. Let's go to camp, see what that does. You're invited, fun activities and events all month long. Oh man, it is summer right now. Wouldn't that be fun if you could take your kids to a camp, a kid camp. All right, now the pictures are coming off. Kids ID safety days, free ID cards for kids. Ooh. Microsoft Explorer pack filled with cool essentials for exploring. Let's click on that. What is that? And you can see the, the internet's going, you know, fairly substantially, you know, quickly. It's not like just going super slow because it was designed to work for dial-up internet, these websites, filled with all the essentials for a day's excursions. Of course, none of the pictures are coming up. Now, these might come up if I used Internet Explorer, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Magic School Bus, what is all this goofiness? Encarta 97. Anybody remember that? The encyclopedia, I think that was like an encyclopedia online, Encarta. Turn to Camp Egg headquarter, Headquarters. All right, it takes me back to where we were. Let's, let's see if we can download software. Let's click on that. Download software. Demos and trials. Gotta have it now? You can with Egghead's electronic software delivery. Simply download and install the software of your choice and pay for it directly from your PC. Internet, browser add-ins, add, -on, add -ins, entertainment, screensavers, 
Let's try screensavers. This really isn't giving us much information. Link doesn't exist. So these, once you try to download, it just doesn't work anymore. Because best way to go about troubleshooting this is head on over to the Wayback Machine on a modern computer. Let's see what happens if I click on that. Probably. Oh, don't even. Oh yeah, here we go. Archive.org. It's not going to work here. Let's see demos and trials. All right, all right, guys, good deal. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, us using the Mosaic in the box browser. This was our install and review. I know it was just simply amazing. This is what we were supposed to get when we, when we got online, but we made a valid attempt to make this work with our cool CD here. And um, stay tuned for our next videos. We're gonna do some more things with Juno. Um, we're gonna show you the benefits of what's happened since I've subscribed to the to the Juno Internet Service Provider Accelerated. And we're gonna use it with a laptop. And I got some software that came in. I'll show you just real quickly. This is what came in the mail since I subscribed to Juno. Uh, so it's got like a CD in here for me to install Juno CD. So we're gonna have another video where we open this up. But guys, just stay tuned for the Dial-Up Chronicles. Have a great one.